Let me take you on a trip overseas. 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 Shawty, I got what you need. What you need. What you need. Let me take you on a trip across the world. What's up, what's up you guys? Welcome to Lit Lovely Lisa TV. And I'm your girl, Lit Lovely Lisa, the host. And I got Mr. B.E.O. in the building. What's How going on, what's B.E.O.? Happening? What's happening? How y'all doing? It is Mr. B.E.O. with Mr. on the front, you dig? Woo! He had to put the Mr. on the front. He said, respect put some respect it. on that yeah, night. Yes. I hear you, B.E.O. So for those that don't know B.E.O., give them a little something that can, you know, represent yourself. Uh, my name is Mr. B.E.O., born and raised in Earl, Arkansas. I represent DDP. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Spotify. You can find me on YouTube. I have over 25 videos that I've featured and been in myself. Uh, I write my own music. Uh, so it's not hard to find me. Look. B.E.O., we finna get some rapping into, you know, about you. So, when you were growing up, who inspired you to be an artist? Or did you already know that you wanted to be an artist or it was something just, you know, flared up in you? Uh, I went through a tragic situation that I watched and it kind of pushed oh, me wow. into wanting to rap about it. Because I ain't had no other way to kind of get it off my chest. I watched my mom kill my dad, so... She set him on fire and killed him, and I watched it from the start to the end, so it kind of... Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. So that's why I do music. Ooh. We all have a story, but I'm glad that you turning it into positivity, putting it into your music, making a difference for yourself, because it could have easily went the wrong way. Oh, it was going that way. I mean, I, I had a chip on my shoulder. Uh, I didn't have any support doing the music when I wanted to. It was, my dad was dead and mom in prison, so it just got hard on me. But the turnaround was coming. I knew it was coming. I just needed somewhere to be comfortable then. Been knowing Miss E for a minute, because mm -hmm. we're from the same town, which is Earl. So we mm -hmm. kind of made a bond, but that's what led me this way. It'd it be hard to talk about, but don't mind talking about it. That's awesome. Like you said, it's something hard to talk about, but look how you turned it around for the better of you. That's not no easy thing. No. Look what you did. You should be proud of yourself. Very, very. Yes. I got three kids that I do this for. Michael, Junior, Michael, and Makaya Whitney. Those are my three. The three M's is what I call them. I named him, try to keep him in the relation with my daddy because his name was Michael. My name is Michael. My son, his name is Michael. My daughter's name is Michael. Wow. So I. So all M's. Yes, I respect it. I respect, it. I like respect it. it. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Are you married? Yes, ma'am. Have a lovely wife. Been married two or three years. We've been together 15 years. Uh, awesome. All kids together. But yes, ma'am. Awesome. So, um, let, let me ask you this, um, being in the music industry, you know, have you went to school for, you know, music or, you know, broadcasting, um, journalism, or, you know, have you been to school for anything pertaining to music? No, ma'am, I actually just, just had the gift to just rap, and I had a few people around me, but their intent and my intent wasn't the same, hmm. uh, so I kind of went a different route, and... I just wanted to do music. I had so much on my heart that I couldn't sit to do that. I just have to keep going. So at all times I'm doing music. I have my own studio. I do my own recordings. I do it all, but never went to school for it. But I just wow. learned from going to different studios, dealing with different artists. So I just learned myself and just said, hey, I can do it. Wow. What do you do, you know, in your spare time to, you know, Stay motivated and keep yourself motivated in order to write, in order to do music. What do you do in that time? If I'm not at work on my nine to five, I'm in my studio from five to nine. Wow. So it's all hard work, grind. No, no way. Ain't no plan. It's grinding. And for sure. I'm not there. I'm doing 
shows with my manager. She's put me in a position to just go. And I've I've been waiting on this for so long that there's no holds barred right now. I have no mercy and it's all pressure when I come. Wow. You know what? I done seen you on stage a couple of times. So I, I feel the pressure. I feel the work that you guys are putting in and all of that. So it's just been amazing to watch. I'm glad that you, you know, with the team or whatever. I love y'all energy and how y'all collab together and how y'all move collectively. Well, we you know what you. I'm saying? I speak for all of them. We say we thank you. Not just I, but we do. Yes. I see y'all. Y'all do y'all thing. And so, like I said, it's amazing to watch. It truly is. It's somebody out there that's looking and watching this show or whatever that, you know, want to know how they can do what you did. And they probably had some of the same issues and problems or whatever that you have. What advice would you give to them if they were trying to turn their life around and get into something positive to help them in that brand? First off, I tell them you can't do it yourself. I mean, I tried it. It didn't work. You're going to have to give in and, and let somebody know what's going on because trying to do it yourself and hold it all in, you're going to eventually blow and not in a good way. So you have to learn to let go as I did because I held on to my situation for so long and I held myself accountable because I was blaming myself for him because I didn't wake him. So, uh, take your time. I know that's hard. I know it's wrong. But, uh, I know it's wrong. Just, just, you just got to give life a chance. I, I didn't, and when I decided to give life a chance, I got free and was right. able to express myself more. And being that I had no one because my mama served only five years in prison. Wow. And uh, by that time, I was lost from the relationship with her. So I just, I was already on my way, trying to become a man that. I was trying to get my daddy to see that I was trying to be. So everything that I do now is not is for my children. And my dad is looking down because that's that's kind of the biggest piece that I had been missing to want to learn. But I learned the hard way, and I'm appreciative of it though. Right. I'm very so. So anybody that's going through it, just keep going. You can't give up. You can't give in, and you can't let them know they don't want. Period. And that's coming from me myself. Mr. B.E.O. Well, you earn mad respect for me because for one, for someone to go through something like that and to sit here and do as well as you're doing yes, or whatever, that's amazing. Well, I appreciate it. Because it's some things in life that it's hard to even bounce back from and come back from. So my thing is, it's a lot, we all have stories. And somebody that's out there watching right now that's been through something similar they can see what the positive outcome is. They can see what they can be. They see what is sitting here right there in front of them. You don't have to go the wrong way. No, you don't. But, you know, um, a lot of people that go through situations like that, you know, within the black community, you know, going to see a therapist or, you know, seeking counseling is something like taboo, you know, especially for, you know, our men. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just, you know, I'm trying to figure out how did you even get through? It's amazing. I just want to know how you got through to be able to help somebody else. Honestly, I just, for maybe, he was, I was seven when he died. Uh, so for maybe 10 years, I had lost it. I mean, you would only expect it from somebody to see, I watched from head to toe, burn and die in a ditch. Um, and I fought, I fought demons. There was times I couldn't sleep. Uh, Understandable. Uh, automatic street life became, because I didn't have anywhere to go, so not having nothing was was all I knew. Like So I did what I normally thought would make me get through crime but it didn't pay. No, it um, never pays. I did a little time for it. I, I was locked up and it, uh, it changed my whole life. Uh, I saw things I wasn't supposed to see. Uh, I don't think that was my life, but I'm glad I got it out the way when it happened because I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't, you know, just wanted to change. So I put everything down and gave it all up and said, it's, 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 
it's gotta change. If you don't wanna change, it's not gonna change. And that's just, right. it's, you know. But look at you today. Look at God. That's, that's, All that you've been through, everything you persevered through. Look at this right here. It's here. You an artist, you on stage, you making music. You a great artist at that, great performer. Look at him. Well, I thank you, ma'am. Look at God. Well, you got me blessed. Sometimes we got to celebrate. I'm just saying, sometimes we got to celebrate, and I don't think we do enough of that. No, we don't. We don't do enough of that. And I really, I have mad respect for you for, you know, just staying, being on Lit Love and Lisa TV I to tell you your story me. to help someone else. Because it's not every day that I have somebody on the show that have a story, a real story, a tragic story, and how to overcome and win. You know, that's some amazing type of stuff. That's amazing. Oh, I've been told. I mean, I've been told that I wasn't supposed to be here, but. Uh, but look at God. You sure they, they said that I said God said different. So. What you said. It's all about what he said. It don't matter what man say. It's about what he talking about. Right. That's awesome. For somebody that's, you know, in your situation and they thinking about, well, hey, I've been in the music industry for a while and I just, you know, things are not working out for me and they thinking about giving up. What advice would you have for them? That's not the attitude. Uh, you can't quit. When you, give, when you tell yourself you're quitting, you're allowing the race to be won. I'm not stopping until the breath is out of me with this here. I've told this to myself, I've told this to my children. But I have to do it for me first in order to do it for them. So it's within self. If you ain't got it in yourself to, to, to want to do it, you're not going to want to do it. But believe me, somebody's rooting for you when you're not. You know, Amen. it's not the ones that you see that's not rooting mm -hmm. for you. It's the ones that's that's back there that's with a little bit saying, I like what you're doing. I like the change. I, I, I support everything you do. You might not have the money and stuff now. It might not be right here in front of you. Just push a little harder. Right. Because I wasn't in this stage a year ago. Nowhere. I didn't see none of this a year ago. And to be put in this position now, this is what not giving up looks like here. Man, see, now you have it. That's inspiration within itself. Now, he done, you done help somebody with that. I would like to think so. You definitely done help somebody with that. Because a lot of times we don't see, it's a lot of people watching us. People not mindful, you know, of different things. That's why you have to carry yourself on social media a certain way you know what i'm saying you don't know who watching you you don't know everything. who want to book you for a show i had someone to watch me for a couple of years before they booked me so you see what i'm saying people watch you to see you know what i'm saying well hey can he you know is he gonna stand the hands of time is he gonna be consistent you know so right. a lot of people you know put a lot into that you don't never know who watching Image is everything. Image is everything. Yes, it is. And the way you carry yourself is an awesome thing. Do you have any siblings? I have two brothers and two sisters. My oldest brother, Antonio, has been one of my biggest supporters. My baby brother, Marcus, he just got married today, who's also a rapper out of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister, Tracy of Jonesboro, Arkansas. I have a sister that stays in West Memphis, Arkansas, Manita Johnson. Hmm. I wanted to get into a real personal question oh, with yeah. you or uh, whatever. Um, were they around when this tragic situation happened? My sister was only six months old, so she didn't know what was going on. Uh, my oldest brother and my baby brothers was there. Uh, in the midst of trying to put my dad out, my mom choked my oldest brother out to stop him from putting the fire out. So. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing how somebody can have that much, you know, hate. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like I said, you know, I just commend you for even coming and speaking about it. In the tall as I see you standing and when I see you on stage and when I see you out, you would never think of it. It just goes to show you guys, you know, you could look at a person, you could work with a person, you could see what they have going on. They can have be the talented person in the world, but you don't know what behind. You don't know what's behind the scenes. You don't know what that person been through. Right. So I tell people all the time, you know, it don't take much to, you know, say a kind word. It don't take much or whatever to smile, or you know, you don't know who you gonna touch. Right. I know I've been in a situation or whatever and I know I work with a person and they said look if it wasn't for you I'd have quit long time ago 
They say, you give me inspiration. You come in here, you smiling, you grinning. You got this life about yourself. So they happy to be here. And that's a wonderful quality to be able to have because you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people battle. Yeah, and in this age, you know, depression and anxiety being what it is, man. Serious. Yes. So that's why I take it, talking, being here right now talking, it's relieving me. I mean, it gives me very much relief to talk about this certain situation. I would be easily talking about something else, but this here is something that be hard to talk about, but when you have somebody in front of you that you can talk to, mm -hmm. it's easy. It always gets easy with every conversation. Man, I just, I give, I give it up to you. I really do. How do you use your negative experience, you know, to write music? It's, it's hard because once I start, I, it just goes right to fire. I mean, so that, that when, when I see fire, it's just automatically just, I, I go. So it gives oh, okay. me that, it's like. It gives you that drive and that push fire, and that extra gas. boost. It's like, yeah, when you mention fire and gas, I'm like, I try to leave it. It's, on one side, it's a negative view, but on the other, it's like, I'm going to drive this. Right. I'm going to drive it. I don't get I mean, so, and you can hear it within the music that I put out. I don't do just any kind of music. I give you that music that if you've been through something, I'm going to tell you that part of my music first. Right. You're not going to see the glamorous part because I didn't have the glamorous. I, I actually come from nothing. You know, uh, mom gone, dad dead. My grandma was walking one day and was all of a sudden paralyzed the next day. Wow. Uh, so, and I was help raising my grandmother doing things that I had no knowledge of but I had nowhere to go so I would help her get out of bed help her with her meals doing all this and so I was, it was like I come from a humble star but it, my exterior looks like this because I worked on it because I didn't have nobody to talk to so I would just go in the gym and just work out I would right. just so it's like yo outside looks you look rough and tough like you can take anything but if you get me in a corner and we talk about certain situations you you, you will see the shell just break so how did the gym relieve your stress that you did a lot of working out and it just sort of just, you know, took all to the pressure to off it. of you. If it wasn't in the gym, it was in the studio. Well, I felt like somebody would be in trouble if you didn't have me in those two places. And I didn't have right. nobody to say, hey, you need to be here or you need to be there. So the name Mr. B.E.O. came from the streets. Like, I was a fighter. Wow. And I didn't, I was nothing to play with, so I was, I, that's where that name come from. So I thank the streets for the name, mm -hmm. but on a good note though. It shows you a fighter. Yeah, Look how you overcame. Yeah, that's what I said. A person that wasn't fighting fight ain't able to come through that. Or talk about it or not. No, so that's why I said, thing. look at there. Thank you. Man, that's, that's amazing. It, it truly is. For your son, do he want to do, men, you, do he want to do, you know, be an artist? He want to get in the music industry? My oldest does it. He wants to be a diesel mechanic. Uh, oh, my, that's awesome. My youngest son, he want, he wanted to be a dancer. He's featured in maybe six of my videos where he danced. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's probably the next one I'll put as a dancer in the video. So they don't, neither one of my daughter says she's scared to be famous. So she never wants to be oh, in the video. Wow. <laughs> she don't want to do singing because she's scared to be famous because she see what famous people go through and how money changes them. So I try to change the narrative of it. It's not about the money. I just want to change the situation that I grew up in so y'all never have to see that experience with the right. light bill not being too high where we have to ship my children to stay with your relatives because we don't, you know, it was all type of stuff going on. So I just right. want to change that for all my children so they never have to see a day of that in their life. I think that's what we want, you know, as parents. We want all of that for, that for our kids. We want that stability, you know what I'm saying? We want to be able to provide, you know? And, know and it's you rough when you feel like you fall short of that. Yeah. That, that parent factor is, is is a must when you're raising boys and girls. Like I said, right. I, I didn't have neither one, so I was being told stuff from several. So it was kind of confusing to know what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And when I was doing right, I never got complimented for it. When I was doing wrong, you would bring that up. So I always felt like, like I don't know. So You don't know how you can win, yes. you know? So it's like, you damned if you do, damned, damned if you don't. don't. Right. right? So I understand that as well. You speaking my language now, but look at it here. You know what I'm saying? All positive vibes. All. Doing all beautiful, wonderful things with your life. And that's something your kids can look at. They and they can it. say all this stuff that my dad been through. Look at him. They know what type of Man. dad they had. I mean, I never hid anything that I did. I mean, I let them know. I, 
I can't lie to you. I mean, it, it starts from home, so. Right, it does. No secrets, no nothing. What I did, I did. I'm not proud of it, but it put me in a position to be where I am today and to think the way I think now, because back then I didn't think at all. Is it anything new that you're working on that we need to be on the lookout for Ooh. within your music? I'm always working on new music. I just want to find it. I'm working on an EP right now. Oh, an EP? The, yes, ma'am. And it's titled, It Has To Be Told, uh, on the DDP label. So shout out to Miss E. But I have, maybe I want to make it no more than seven to 10 songs, but I'm going to try to keep it light so I can have fans asking what's next. So, but. Are you going to do a mixtape? It's a possibility. It depends on what my manager say. I go off my manager's step. She put me oh, here, okay. so I don't step You let her set the tone. Yeah, I let her. Hey, so. that's what I'm talking about. Go, Ingrid e. I be I see that, you. That I can't. I've been loyal to the wrong people all my life, but it seems like Amen. since I've been in this position, I might as well, you know, give it to where it's earned it. So. Amen. I believe that. I just made a post about that yesterday. And got so many comments on that. That's real right there. A lot of people, a lot of us are loyal to the wrong people. Yeah, so. So, yeah, we this phases that we have to go through in life and get through. And I just, I commend you for getting through all of yours. Uh, I, I commend you. it. It's a beautiful thing. Thank it's you a again. beautiful thing. I can't wait to see where your career finna take you next. Be it where I already you know. I already know. We already, we already working. Yeah. We already in the same events. Hey, y'all know I'm squatted up. I'm yes, trying to see what's going on. You know, little love Lisa always in the building trying to see what's going on. Well, you know what's going on with DDP. Yeah, so. yeah. Y'all know what's going on, man. Y'all did the thing in um, parking. Oh, well, we appreciate Pulled it. Pulled out the tour. Oh, First, wow. First, second, and third place. Woo! Yeah, that's, we win as a team. We don't collectively just say, I won, you won, you won. No, we won. Yeah, all of y'all yeah, won. That was, that was, that's, the that's, whole, I, you know what? I never seen that. I never seen me, that. I was like, I ain't never seen that. Your whole label, they won all the places. I ain't never seen that before. So. That's the first time that has ever happened. I done did a lot of shows. That's the first time that ever happened. And it was a great look. That show, somebody working it. Somebody putting a lot of That's work in. A lot in. of work being put in. Yes, a lot of work put in. Well, I want to thank you, Mr. B.E.O., for coming in and doing a interview with Lit Lovely Lisa. Sitting down, chopping it up, and telling your story. It was an amazing story. And uh, once again, I just want to tell you. I appreciate you for coming and I appreciate you for telling your story. And I have all the respect for you. Well, I appreciate it's you. It's not for easy. Me. Thank you, ma'am. It's not easy. Not at all, but it'll get done. Yes. With that being said, you guys, that's a wrap for Lit Lovely Lisa TV. We're going to head over to the Lit stage where an artist going to, y'all know what she going to do or he going to do. They finna tear the house on down. They finna get on down on this stage. So, y'all stay tuned. You dig, Mr. B.E.O. Dig that. <laughs> I'm gonna do a turn song real quick, so don't do me. I'm gonna I'm see what turn y'all up, but this is turn song. Yeah, look.
lose all my sanity. I won't let it happen to me. Reinventing myself when they damage me. Now I stick to the brand that counts me. I put your car on Walmart. Them boys don't fight, they all ball. When we sell it, let's see Walmart. Need a man that ain't busy on my car alone. Fuck all those brushes, I'm trying to get paid. Bustin' up back, cause I bustin' up back. Walls out the strip, we gon' be out of jail. Like, boom, boom, boom. This is for right. Got a little previous and she on her way. We gon' pop that bitch like a bitch. Let me take you on a trip overseas. 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 Shawty, I got what you need. I got what you need. Girl, what you need. Let me take you on a trip across the world. 